I'm going to be taking you into meditation. But before we actually go into the meditation, we're going to go into the vibration, the spirit of forgiveness. And in, in reading the last part of that scripture, I just want to translate that for us from a metaphysical perspective. You don't need to forgive in order for God to forgive you. Because in the mind of God, there is no unforgiveness, yes? But when we are in resentment, we are, in, we are out of vibrational range from the wholeness that is our inherent birthright, which is God. Can I get an amen? amen. All right. How many of you right now are holding on to resentment and have anger in your heart towards somebody? Only two of you. So I have a song for you about forgiveness to take you into the meditation. So I want you to think about, Paul, I want you to think about the person that you are holding this resentment toward, this person who's probably done you harm. Maybe they've abandoned you. Maybe they've betrayed you, hurt you in horrible ways. I just want you to bring them into your heart right now as you listen to the words of this song. Don't do anything with it. Just bring them into your heart and listen to the words of this song. I once heard a powerful story about a man who stood in his truth with such conviction in who he was, he would not be moved. Someone stepped out of the crowd and said, Are you Martin Luther King? He said, Yes, I am. And the well-dressed man spit on him. King took out his handkerchief and wiped the hate from his suit. He gave it back to the man and said, I believe this belongs to you. I will lift you up. Do what I can do. I see your heart. I know your pain, cause I've been there too. I will hold you high while you do what you have to do. Cause I am clear who is standing here. I believe this belongs to you. Are you ready to give up those stories? Are you ready to give up those stories that's been holding you in pain? Say yes. I once had a powerful story I used to carry around. I thought it was you all this time who held my spirit down. But now I know the truth of who I came here to be. You are my angel in disguise, not my enemy. So I thank you for the part you played in this dance we had to do. I give you back the love that's real. I believe this belongs to you. Sing with me. I will lift you up. Do what I can do. I see your heart. I know your pain. I've been there to hold them high. I will hold you high while you do what you have to do. I am clear who is standing here. I believe this belongs to you. Lift him up, y'all. I will lift you up. Do what I can.
can't do. I see your heart. I've even felt your pain. And I've been there to hold him up. I will hold you high while you do what you have to do. I am clear who is standing here. I believe this belongs to you. I give you back the love that's real. I believe this belongs to you. So as we turn within, we surrender right now every feeling of betrayal, every feeling of abandonment, every feeling of rejection, every feeling of being abused, and we surrender it into the white light of divine truth, that part of our soul that says, no hurt, no harm, no danger can come nigh your dwelling place. And we rest in this place of infinite love, infinite safety, surrendering all, that we may be renewed set free and transformed by the renewing of our minds. So let's just breathe into that. Take a nice healing breath. Inhale and let go. And rest here for a minute. And how good it is to know that we have been watered by the grace of God, by the love of the infinite, washing away all the pain, all the stories, and we are made new. We are changed. We are complete. And we are whole. And so it is. Amen. Take a breath.